ISIS is now claiming responsibility for the attack on a Texas art exhibit and contest featuring drawings of the Prophet Muhammad. The terror group's official radio station made that claim this morning. One of the two gunmen killed by police in Garland, Texas on Sunday had long-standing ties to an alleged jihadi group in Phoenix. And this morning, the mother of the other suspect is telling CBS News that she understands why police had to kill her son, Nadir Sophie. Omar Villafranca is on the scene in Garland just outside Texas. Omar, good morning. Good morning. Right beside me is where Sunday's shooting occurred. In fact, there are pieces of the suspect's car still in the roadway after it was detonated yesterday morning. We are learning more about one of the shooters, and we talked to his mother, and she told us that she couldn't believe this is where her son's life would end. I can't imagine what went through his mind. Sharon Sufi says her son Nadir was always deeply religious, but she never thought he would hurt anyone. He was a practicing Muslim, but not in the extreme sense. He just tried to, to make people understand Islam. Authorities say 34-year-old Sufi and 30-year-old Elton Simpson arrived on Sunday at this Dallas area conference center armed with body armor, assault rifles, and a mission. They were there to shoot people. We will continue to um, investigate. This is not going to be a real fast investigation. Sufi believes Simpson, her son's roommate, orchestrated the attack. An American Muslim, Simpson had been on the FBI's radar for years, first surfacing in 2006 during a terrorism investigation. He was convicted of lying to federal agents in 2011. He's an intelligent kid. I mean, but to be convinced to do something like this uh, is beyond it's just beyond me. Federal agents spent hours Monday combing through the Phoenix apartment both men shared looking for answers. Back in Texas, authorities credited an unnamed Garland police officer with thwarting their plan. He did a very good job and probably saved lives. Sharon Sufi says she doesn't hold the officer responsible. I mean, he was just doing his job, but it's when your child dies under these kind of circumstances, you just, it just leaves you numb and empty. The family of Elton Simpson is also struggling to understand why this happened. In a statement, they said, we are sure many people in this country are curious to know if we had any idea of Elton's plans. To that we say, without question, we did not. Gail? All right, Omar, thank you.